Uh, FIFA, in collaboration with, with FUFA, have a project which is in line with women football development and especially club licensing. So FIFA gave us a project that we have started on right now in phases. And phase number one is what has started today, which is uh, the workshop we are doing right now. This workshop will be done in four days. We shall have two categories. And category one is what we have started, the Super League. And category two will be the Women Elite League. The reason as to why this project is done is we want our clubs to understand what club licensing is exactly. And you have seen FIFA also on Zoom presenting for us. My name is uh, Nicholas Kiza, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Football at FIFA. Today is yet another opportunity and privilege for us to host a two days workshop for our clubs in the FIFA Super League, FIFA Women Super League. It is uh, about club licensing, or the parameters and the standards that we need at the level of the Women's Super League. It is a program supported by FIFA, and we have a number of FIFA officials also at virtually attending this workshop. We intend to kickstart the club licensing process with stringent measures that we shall have to enforce and sanction. It's a pilot initially, but we shall also develop it into a, a more stringent um, process in the coming seasons. My name is Julius Mugisa, the chairman of Dubs FC, uh, based in Masindi. Uh, today we have come here for a workshop, which will take us two days, convened by FUFA. And this workshop is about developing women football in Uganda. Uh, this meeting is being organized with the coordination, with the involvement of FIFA. We have members attending from FIFA Zurich, and uh, we have members, the, the 10 clubs, the Super League clubs in Uganda. Uh, the two days we shall be here, we've been briefed that we are going to look at how we can professionalize football, that FIFA has a hard trick agenda to make sure we professionalize football, to make sure football goes to the grassroots, and to make sure that whatever we do here in Uganda is world class. But what we do here is what people in South Africa do, is what people in West Africa do. So I'm grateful that we have had this opportunity, and the, at the end of it all, football will be the winner. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Sisi Jawan, the Women Football Development Officer. I'm here today uh, having this workshop, the club licensing workshop with the Women Football Clubs of the Super League. This is a project that uh, we are doing with uh, FIFA to improve and develop the leagues and uh, the clubs involved in those leagues. The project uh, has a number of phases. The first phase is the workshop, as we have it today, and uh, the one we'll have uh, starting Monday. So these workshops are aimed at uh, empowering the clubs to see uh, club licensing as a development tool rather than a punishment to them. We believe that uh, club licensing, if handled well, will help uh, develop and professionalize our leagues and clubs. You know, in 2015, we started with women LID, the top league. Then we now have the women super league, women LID league. Now we started the women regional leagues. We, the, the, the model we adopted was to start from up. But before this, we used to have a national team which would go out there, lose games and work. And again, FIFA said, let us first stop national team football. We do the league, then the league is done. We can now produce about five national teams at a go. Trust me, the Crescent Ukraine is now in South Africa, but you can produce another what team. I uh, will start with the chairman of the devs. One, actually, members to note, just like David. David, are you on? Yes, I can hear you, yes. Actually, to note, like uh, the explanation that you gave us about the clubs that broke even, I also have an example here that I've noted it in Uganda that the clubs that do well in club licensing actually get the sporting results. And Lake Doves here was the best club in club licensing last season. So me myself, I was not surprised when they did it to that level. Uh, what I wanted to discuss with you, Chairman, or discuss with us, 
One, you want to have that appreciated club licensing. There is a number of things that you've appreciated. What exactly do you, how, how, does, how do you people come to perceive it? Or how did you really have to understand it? Thank you very much, uh, members. Uh, club licensing, we perceived it this way. It is a vehicle towards your end goal. The end goal at Red Dubs is we want to look at two things. One <coughs> is getting away from football for leisure and going to football for business, football for income. To date, the funders of this club are largely two and they contribute like 80% of that funding. So I see uh, hope in doing, uh, making, fulfilling the conditions for football so that you can translate that laser into business.